Hey guys, and welcome to X-Men Captain. It's kind of like an X-Men deck that I uh, tried out very recently, but I also experimented with discard decks and wounding decks. And I did notice one thing, that this guy getting buffed doesn't matter too much for the wounding archetype. At least I couldn't really make it work. The problem was that the value generation was just not there. And the value generation is definitely there with the X-Men. But this guy alone is not too interesting. However, Lugos also uh, suffers in a discard deck. Because you don't really want to run the, the Clan and Crave Warrior in a discard deck. It's just, And also you discard a lot. Which overrides the effects of the Clan Demon Pyre Captains. So you can't really run the Pyre and the Clan Demon Pyre Captains in a discard deck. So it's all around weird. But if you take out all these cards... That makes sense. You can play Lugos, who uses Clan and Crave Warrior to become a 17, which is average for a gold. It's fine. And also you can uh, use this damage to take out key targets that would get more value, like uh, an Akimara that consumed an egg and now resilient, and it's 11 power, you just like, get rid of it, it's gone for good. And after that is done, you can drop 15 strength pirate captains as a finisher and uh, the reason why this is a uh, well it's it sounds like a pretty good deal 17 uh, followed up by a bunch of 15s and we have royal decree just to uh, make this combo almost a guarantee and uh, the reason why it's uh, it's such a good idea in my opinion is because there these are cards x-men and vetter and something like that these are cards that we want to play early and these are cards that we want to play after something is established. And this is something we want to play as a finisher. And it's pretty important to not just have like cards that you want to play early. Because when you play them late, they are just going to be garbage. Or you just have cards that are just only good if you have a long run or, or something like that. But if you have only cards that uh, uh, give you fixed value, like 15, 12, something like that then you're probably gonna uh, lose anyway in most cases because you just don't have value generation some decks can get away with it but uh, uh, decks that generate value unless you shut them down will uh, beat you big time <clears throat> and of course we just uh, set up multiple rows set up no, no, no. set up one crazy row and uh, the skeleton storm hits them three times that's the most important part here we Skellige Storm, Skellige Storm, Skellige Storm, we want a Skellige Storm a lot. If you if you feel like we don't have enough weather, or you're just running into single single weather uh single weather counters, or even my or even first the opponent's first lightning a lot, you can uh, consider putting in uh, rain that hits them two times. You'll see if uh, that is something you need. It's not too hard to sneak it in. And uh, and that's that. We just uh, get crazy X-Men out, we get crazy Pirate Captains out at the end, and of course we're generating value with Harald as well, so... This overall just makes sense that the Veil just screws everybody over, Dora Grai throws people into the weather, or maybe he just goes for Anakimara if he need that. A Secret Reef usually resurrects Lugos or maybe the X-Men, because the X-Men still generate a lot of value. Sadly, the Pirate Captains uh, don't really have a... well, cannot be resurrected for good value. But the Harpooners are, and the X-Men, are excellent. <clears throat> One thing you gotta watch out for, that this deck still wants to uh, fight round one. You wanna fight round one, fight like hell. And uh, what, you gotta make sure to have something in the graveyard. Because if you open past round one, because uh, you got screwed with the coin flip, then your second turn you might just have some Freyas that are completely dead. Uh, so you gotta watch out for that. So you gotta get a fight round one. Sometimes even if you go down uh, two cards, uh, that is acceptable. But uh, obviously not ideal. So you gotta fight round one, you gotta fight round three. And the value ger you're generating is... Uh, it's pretty damn hard to match, frankly. <clears throat> so that's it guys, uh, let's check out some games. Some lazy mingers. Oh wow. You'll sleep when you're dead. Hopefully we are not dealing with... Uh, Mail here. They actually have Gwent up. First light probably won't need it. Okay. Let's kick the pirate captain. 
Let's kick that. All right. They go first. It's probably not me, right? They're probably dealing with... Actually, I do want to fight. For the clan! For this is the that wants to fight every single time. When it starts. Because we want to control the game. Potatoes with thick it is actually mill. So let's go with that. <clears throat> the rifles could actually kill the whale, so that's kind of bad. Hey, Shitri Gavron. No message. Ooh. Does the bear jump first? I think we gotta play the better. The Vader's gonna die with that particular weather. At last. All right. Make the laws here. All right. See you later, Avalak. Why are two of the cards shiny? And be in first light. They're shiny cards. There's actually an option uh, in game that uh, you can turn off premiums. Which is admittedly lame, but also nice to have because the premium animations are ungodly uh, take on the godly amount of uh, resources and uh, it's just really hard to justify having them most of the time so be it I think we gotta need more better the revolution is inevitable merely a matter of time the game becomes like baby smooth without them. For All right. I suppose that's that. But without another Skellige Storm, it's gonna be tricky. Hmm. Ooh, look at that! Scouting is store number two! So, where do we play? Actually, we can play this guy. It's fine. Played in the back. I really should have played in the back. Then I could. Oh, fucking hell. That's bad. That's really, really bad. Do I throw in a X-Men there as a sacrifice? That is such a heartbreaking sacrifice. I don't think so. I think we're gonna let that 15 die. We gotta put everything in the back. I 
make sure that we have some bronzes. And of course we are going for a duo. Appearances can be deceiving. Alright, let's go for that. There is but one punishment for traitors. Yeah, he wants to mill us, but it doesn't matter too much. Alright. I need to have more better. Here's the better than your wildest wettest dreams. As much as as much as it pains me, I think we might need to put back. You will see it in your dream. Um the herbalists. Modern Freyr is patient, but she brooks no insult. Alright. Well, they got relatively strong. Hey, Jim. This is a weird deck. And I'm not convinced that it's uh, a good idea to run it. At last. Still have bronzes left. What can I get out? Clown Grey Warrior. Shouldn't play the first light. Could. Nah. I don't even want a decoy. Is he gonna cohere it? He might. That's strong. Anything about resurrecting? Not really. Uh, might as well play a captain. Don't you be worth it. We can get out the clone and crepe warrior, which is fine. This is your weird deck or X-Men deck? This is both! I made them into both. Just in like one minute. Bow before modern Freya. We're gonna give me copies of uh Oh no. Yeah, we got a copy of the Veil Harpooner, but that's only a copy. We got more of these. out but he can keep giving me my best guys Won't pay us in gold 
What? Well, he's gonna play more Magnus or what? Did I scare you? You're leading by 77. Nothing to really replay here for value. Let's go with this. That's bloody unfortunate. He's doing a great job. I shall do as you call. Damn. Did we lose? My boots got sand or plenty in Of course not. Anyway, GG. Best dreams. All right, Dagon, you and me, bring you. Suppose we should keep premium. Okay, premium cards in our hand. Uh. Well, I gotta keep offer slide. Crystal Freya, Strict Rifa. Nothing to resurrect, sadly. Okay. Yeah, let's go with Mr. X-Men over here. For Are you gonna Akimara or Bran? can consider uh, giving up because I'm gonna generate value but I don't think that's how he rolls and look at that it's uh it's gotta be perfect because we're gonna get out Mad Malugos I make the laws here I make the laws here And the pirate captains are ridiculous now. Plus generating value. Plus gonna harpoon in this big frog. Alright. Well that's annoying. What the fuck? Would you stop with your bullshit? Come on. Did I just do a guy? Hmm. I do want more stuff to get hit. Okay. I don't care too much about uh, Lugos dying. Whatever. This is a good test, because that deck is ridiculous. <clears throat> if I pass now, he's gonna take uh, 2 damage, I'm gonna gain, I'm gonna get stronger for that. And uh, my, the fog of my row is not gonna trigger, unless he continues to play. So I think this is a good time to pass. Oh, yeah. He wants it. We're going. Okay. We're going round two. He's a card down, but he has some carryover. He's pretty, pretty confident. Okay. I'm feeling pretty confident too. Um. Uh, sure. Do I want to get rid of first lights? I suppose I might not want to play like a lot of first lights. Oh, look at that! For the clan! For the clan! Skelliger! 
Get him, Boyle! Fuck! You fucked it up! Again! Oh, man. We need some X-Men, guys. Damn. I guess I can resurrect one. Hmm. So be it. Oh. What do you need? Um, Mr. X-Men guy. I can also put an iris. That's gonna be great. We're probably gonna slam in his guy first. Well, he needs to play another better with Dagon, so probably should uh, wait for that a little bit. Mankind is a virus, a plague. Oh. Alright, let's go with that. Really? Alright, fair enough. This might even make Iris, uh... Dead. Can get out the Freya, an X Men, a Harpooner. Well, it only does air damage, so. Here's the better loot than your wildest, wettest dreams! Even if I play Iris first, there's no bloody guarantee that we're getting anything out of it. Alright, let's get rid of the better. Do we play Iris? Oh man. Won't pay us in gold, pay us in okay. blood. Maybe no iris in this deck. That's a good idea. More movers would be nice. What's this on one? <clears throat> Owning a Dagon dude, a, a meta Dagon dude this hard, who like played two Woodland Spirit twice, like whatever, two Woodland Spirits, then okay. This would have not happened if this deck is not kind of good. GG.